Valencia is the city of fire, intriguing Tomatina festival and many fantastic monuments. Check out what else is waiting for you in one of the largest cities in Spain. The history of Valencia dates back to the 2nd century BC. Then, after the victory over the Lusitanians, the Romans founded a fortified colony called Valencia Edidonorum. In the 8th century AD the city was captured by the Arabs who ruled it until 1238. Valencia briefly returned under Spanish rule in the late 11th century when it was conquered by Rodrigo Diaz de Viva known as the Valiant Cid. This famous knight died in Valencia defending the city. To this day, he is a symbol of knightly virtues and his life was celebrated in knight songs and epics. In 1238 the city was captured by the King of Aragon. A slow exchange of Muslims for Christians began. More and more new residents came to Valencia. The greatest economic and cultural development of the city took place in the 15th century. The beginning of the 19th century is marked by a short-term reign of the French associated with the campaign of Emperor Napoleon. During the Spanish Civil War, Valencia was the seat of the Republican government for almost a year. In 1957, Valencia suffered a catastrophic flood when the Chiria River overflowed. As it was not the first flood of this kind so it was decided to move the river beyond the city limits. The old riverbed was developed to create a beautiful Jada del Chiria Park. Valencia is an exceptionally charming and colorful city with interesting and very diverse architecture. You will find excellent monuments from the past, as well as stunning modern designs there. Start your tour from the most famous square in the city, Plaza de la Reina. It's a truly unique place that everyone loves. In the tenement houses surrounding the square, there are numerous bars and restaurants that are eagerly visited by tourists and locals. At Plaza de la Reina one of the most important monuments of the city, La Suda Valencia, that is the local cathedral, is located. It is built on the ruins of a mosque and former Visigothic cathedral. The cathedral was consecrated in 1238 and its construction took over 700 years which means that you will see various architectural styles, starting from the Romanesque style, through Gothic, to Neoclassicism there. You don't have to take notes. We have included all the practical info in the description below the video. That's where you can also find links with accommodation, tickets to attractions and tips on how to pay abroad so as not to overpay on currency conversions. Wandering from Plaza de la Reina to the second most important square of the city, that is, Plaza del Ayuntamiento, it is worth deviating from the shortest route and visiting Mercado Central, which is said to be the largest indoor market in Europe. At first, it was an ordinary market, but at the beginning of the 20th century it was decided to build a market hall. Take a look at the beautiful architecture of this facility, made in the so-called Valencian modernism. Apart from a feast for the eyes, you will also have a real feast for the body. Vegetables, fruit, meat, fish, sausages of excellent quality, as well as various types of handicrafts and many other products are piled up at hundreds of stands. There is a second market, Mercat de Colón, nearby. It is slightly smaller than the central one, it has fewer stalls but more various bars and restaurants where you can try many local specialties. Lonia de la Seda or Silk Exchange is also worth visiting. Built in the 15th century, it still impresses with its magnificent Gothic hall with columns. Plaza del Ayuntamiento or Town Hall Square is the largest and most representative square in Valencia. That's where important ceremonies and events take place, including the famous Fire Festival. The square is surrounded by beautiful modernist buildings where various public institutions are located. The square is also decorated with a large fountain. Pay your attention to the Town Hall and the main post office which are great examples of modernism. Be sure to look inside these buildings as you will be amazed by their beautifully adorned interiors. Plaza del Ayuntamiento is literally a few hundred meters away from the Central Railway Station which is another public building in Valencia that is a real work of art. The facade is decorated with orange motifs, which is to refer to the agricultural character of the province of Valencia. The Bullfighting Arena and the Bullfighting Museum are located next to the station. 
Although for many it is a very controversial pastime, it is part of Spanish culture. Valencia had been a fortified city for centuries. Today, only three gates remain of the city walls, Torres de Court, Puerta de la Mar and Torres de Serranos. If you look at the city plan, you will see a clear circle that marks the line of the old walls and the points on this circle are the gates. The gates themselves are really impressive and this clearly shows how important and rich the city of Valencia was. In turn, bridges have remained in the former Chiria riverbed. There is no water left but the bridges are a tourist attraction. The most beautiful is the Bridge of Flowers, which is decorated with flowers all year round. There are also rainbow benches and lots of palm trees. Punta La Mar dates back to the 16th century. Its well thought out and beautiful construction is clearly visible. Numerous sculptures are an additional attraction of this historic crossing. Once you have reached the historic bridges, it means it's time for Jada del Chiria, or the Gardens of Chiria. As you already know, the park was created in the former bed of the Chiria River. Along the entire length you can not only find wonderful greenery, but also a lot of sports fields, playgrounds, skate parks, sculptures and fountains. Most children love Gulliver, a huge sculpture that is also a playground. It is worth seeing because it impresses not only children. However, perhaps the most famous and most interesting is Ciudad de las Arts y las Ciencias, that is, the City of Arts and Sciences. It is a unique complex combining a cultural and entertainment center. All that in amazing avant-garde buildings designed by Santiago Calatrava and Felix Candela who combined modern blocks with water, which gave the effect of lightness. The most important part is the so-called El Hemispheric. This building houses a cinema and a planetarium. The complex also has Europe's largest oceanarium, opera house and science museum. Valencia still retains many traditions. The whole city celebrates various holidays which are also a huge tourist attraction. Fires de Valencia, or the Festival of Fire, is one of the most important and popular. If you want to participate in this extraordinary event, you must visit Valencia in March. Fires takes place from March 15th to 19th every year. Its traditions date back to the Middle Ages, when local carpenters supposedly celebrated the day of their patron, Saint Joseph, in this way. Today it's one big party all day long. The culmination is the burning of special effigies that are prepared by practically every street in the city. The most beautiful effigy is also selected and burned last. Fires is included in the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List. Another feast you can participate in is Tomatina. It is celebrated on the last Wednesday of August and is the culmination of the week-long fiesta. Tomatina is about throwing ripe tomatoes at each other. Valencia is located on the Mediterranean Sea. The city takes full advantage not only of the great weather and mild climate but also beautiful beaches as there are kilometers of them. Sandy beaches stretch practically along the entire city. If you like urbanized and well-developed beaches, choose the ones north of the center with numerous pedestrian areas, promenades, restaurants and bars. The beaches south of the center are wilder, but they are a bit further from the old center and you have to drive to them. The most popular beaches of Valencia include Malvarosa Beach, Playa de las Arenas and Playa del Sailor. They all have beautiful, fine sand and are very clean, thus there are plenty of people willing to sunbathe and swim. Mild climate of Valencia means that the weather is pleasant there practically all year round. According to statistics, there are about 300 sunny days in a year. The best time to visit Valencia is from March to November. In spring and autumn months there are usually fewer tourists, so if you don't like crowds, choose this time to come. The exception is, of course, March and the Fire Festival, which attracts tourists from all over the world. You can easily reach Valencia by plane. The airport is about 8 kilometers from the city. You can get to the center by local buses and the metro. Although most of the attractions in Valencia are close to each other, you will sometimes have to cover longer distances. The city has good public transport though with city buses and the metro operating. Tickets can be purchased for single journeys, but it is better to use 24-hour or 2-day tickets. The city also has its own tourist card. 
Use it if you want to get free public transport and free entrance to many museums and monuments. You will also receive discounts on various tourist services and in some restaurants and bars. The card can be purchased at the tourist information offices at the airport, Plaza del Ayuntamiento and Plaza de la Reina, among others. It can also be bought online. You can choose a card for 24, 48 or 72 hours. If you're already planning your trip, you can find accommodation and tickets to attractions on the spot in the links under the video description. You can also order a card for cheap payments abroad the same way. Press the bell and subscribe to our channel if you want to receive notifications about new episodes. Have a nice trip!